Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. Today we'll be reviewing the second one day between India and England. England winning by six wickets with, um, with seven overs to spare around and they weren't chasing 200, they were chasing 330. Uh, incredible hitting, it was absolute carnage. Bairstow and Stokes, uh, even Roy at the start, it was just unbelievable betting. And um, you know, uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. There's a lot of criticism um, after the first one day that you know they should have uh, f- finished off that game with the start they got. But they played the same way this time and they pulled it off. So, like, uh, they, they just want to finish it within a time limit. They don't want to take it to 50 overs, whether they win or lose. It seems like that, right? Don, I have with me my co-host, Avrar. How are you? Good, good. I mean, uh, this this game was a real eye opener in in many ways. You know, like we've uh, we've had we've had a lot of since the World Cup. We've had a lot of lot of things that have happened. You know, England have been have been a little bit hop, a little bit uh, blowing hot and cold. Then the COVID came, so we've forgotten how England can actually be. They can actually be really, really lethal. And we saw that we saw that in flashes in the T Twenty. And I think today was the day where it really you know paid off for them. And I, I was I was very impressed by Ian Morgan when he said it after the first game as well. He's like. This is our style. We're not going to change it. We're going to go all out. We're going to we're going to be hard hitting, and we're going to come out all guns blazing. If we lose, we'll take that as we'll accept that. But if we win, then we'll make it look fancy, and that's exactly what they did. Like the likes of the likes of Stokes was unbelievable. I mean, yes, Kronal and Kuldeep aren't aren't uh, in the best of forms possibly. Kuldeep has not been playing a lot of cricket, so you know he's a confidence kind of guy. So for him, it was hard. But like the way he was hitting them out the park, man, it was unreal. The twenty sixes, I believe, today, uh, if 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 I'm not wrong about, it, is what England scored. Um, uh, in terms of just the sixes, that's 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 a lot of runs, you know. So you think about that, hundred twenty runs just went off of the, off of the sixes. So it's quite, uh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not that's not proper math, but, uh, yeah, but no. yeah, I think a lot of a lot of runs went uh, a lot of runs uh, uh, being scored, and and they killed the game off by the thirty fifth over. You know, even when the couple of wickets went in over there. Uh, when when Prasid got a couple and Bhuvi got one, I thought that that was just a, a a little bit of a blip. But I I don't I don't think that they were ever in any kind of doubt of 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 losing the game. They were they were uh, in hot form, and uh, this is the England that we know. I mean, and and it's a big lesson for India as well. You know, I mean, this is a top top quality side. I mean, the World Cup's coming in a year in in a couple of years. It's going to be in India. So I mean, uh, the taking the taking the reserved um, uh, way of of the way I I feel like when India bats first, I think they're a little bit more reserved. In the first few overs, I think that India should learn, take it, learn a little bit from England, and, and you know go a little bit faster so that they can score that three three fifty three seventy and make it a little bit harder for for uh, for England. I mean, even first game they scored three seventeen, but they went in the end. Even the second game they scored three thirty, they went in the end. So I think that you know maybe going after the twenty fifth over and then trying to get that uh, three 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 fifty plus is probably what they should be targeting. Moving on, moving on from from. The next game, I think. Yeah, it's funny you said that because after the last game, a lot of people were saying that England should uh, take tips from India. That you know they should like <laughs> uh, they need to like you know once they get a good start, they need to you know capitalize on it and single double. It's just that uh, there's two ways at it, right? India accelerate at the end, in England accelerate all the way through. But I just yeah. feel um for England, the only uh, I wouldn't say criticism, but I, I would just say that like you know when they were in a position in the first one day as well, you don't need to do anything more fancy. You just need one guy to you know you can still play your natural game, but just be a bit like you know in control that's all I would say but I think their style of cricket they've shown that it's very difficult to pull off I think they're very unique team England like you know to yeah, hit like yeah. that we've seen it in both games I think last game it came out wrong but they learned from that because if you look at this game Bairstow didn't go off like he did in the first game he was reserved uh, from his yeah. standards he was yeah, reserved yeah. right so it shows that they did learn from it uh, they weren't as explosive at the start but then they knew if they're going to go 6 runs and over they can go 8, 9, 10, 11 at one stage t- uh, Strokes was hitting 20 runs and over so yeah. Um, uh, so you could say they limited it a bit. That aggression controlled it a bit, but it was still, it's still very aggressive cricket. So I think it's a very difficult brand to replicate. And I think it's perfect the way you see, kind of the way you summarized it. I think that's what's important when you when you go. I think that the fact that uh, Bairstow was 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 looking good and he he kind of consolidated one side and Stokes was letting loose when he when he was letting loose. And initially when when Stokes was. Uh, was taking a little bit of a break, like uh, trying to get settled in. That's when when Bairstow was kind of you know going all guns blazing. So I think that it was a it was a very good uh, uh, technique that they used or methodology methodology that they used in terms of one side going all guns blazing, the other side kind of consolidating when the other when the other is going high high fly, you know. So I think that they they learned a little bit from their mistakes in the last game, and obviously you know the quality side when they make a mistake like that, and we they were they were. Uh, even unbelievably good in, good start in the first game as well, but then they lost their way in the middle over there, so that they they made sure that they, that didn't happen this time around. Yeah. So you know, I mean, hats off to them. They've been they've been a quality side. No, there was no denying that, and you know, it it, it calls for a good, exciting third game to to look forward to. You know. 
Yeah, and best to learn, like exactly like you said, the best to show that he learned from it. He added 30 more runs in this game than the last game, but it was that partnership because he stayed for those 20, 30 extra deliveries. Uh, uh, Stokes could also hit from the other end, so it's that partnership which is key. And like you know, uh, he ensured that he didn't throw away his wicket. Uh, but Absolutely. if you if you just want to look bittersweet, bit bittersweet with with Bairstow though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's good. I, if I was um, a Sunrise, I mean, I am a Sunrisers fan. So for me, I think it is uh, the perfect time to hit form like this. The perfect you couldn't pick a, a, a better time. Yeah. So if you are a Sunrisers fan, it is bittersweet. But I think it's a bit more sweet than bitter because the IPL is right <laughs> around the corner and you want your best players to be in form and they're going to be playing in these conditions. So uh, why not? Like, uh, I think um, it's really good for uh, Sunrisers fans to look at like that. Even Rajasthan fans will be really happy looking at uh, what Stokes can do. And this is the thing with these English players um, that's why they do cr- get criticized because they play over, over aggressive but the thing is they finish they can uh, make impossible run chases look like a cakewalk and it's very Super. difficult to do that any other Agreed. team would have probably taken this with the 48th 49th over uh, in my opinion Agreed. 100% so uh, I think it was uh, incredible if you just want to touch upon India's batting like you said it was a reserve start but I think Rohit Sharma Shikhar both will be kicking themselves uh, Rohit Sharma in particular was looking good he hit like 4 or 5 boundaries and then flicked one straight to find like this was his pitch man Absolutely. I mean, Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan. I mean, Shikhar Dhawan was playing well in the last game, this game around, you know. Shikhar always has like a game where he scores a lot of runs and then he takes off a couple of games. <laughs> With due respect to him, I think that that's his kind of style as well. But yeah, Rohit, Rohit Sharma was, should be very disappointed with the way he, with the way he kind of got out and stuff like that. But I think uh, uh, very happy with, with KL Rahul, of course, yeah. as usual. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of him, as you know. So for him to get a century and, and just, you know, uh, uh, silence some of the doubters is, is very nice to see. Rishabh Pant is is an absolute baller. I mean, he's he's just been amazing uh, since since that uh, Australian series. I mean, he's just been he's just going, going from strength to strength, you know. So that's been nice to see as well. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I just feel like it was a, it was important that they they I mean I guess the fact that they lost a couple of wickets made it a little bit more reserved. And I think KL Rahul was kind of coming back into form, so it was nice to see that. But I just felt like they could have gone a little bit more once they settled down. And I thought Virat got it at the wrong time. I thought if he could have stuck around at the time when he did, I think the century from him would have been very nice. Yeah, and, and I think we could have gone that 350 if, if, he, if he stuck around a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah again, again dismissed by the leg spinner, Adil Rashid. He's got him out a number of times now. And I think you're right. This, like, Virat Kohli, this would have been the perfect innings for him, uh, getting, uh, like, a 100. It's just not the 100. I think the more he batted, the better for India. And uh, also, I feel that the first game was kind of like a misguiding kind of thing. They won by, like, 100 runs, but it wasn't that straightforward. When you look at the scorecard, like, oh, India won easily. But um, 320... Uh, that's what, what, the reason I'm saying that is because 320 is not. It, I think it was a par score, to be honest with you, in the first Absolutely. game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. So it's, that it's, like, it's, that's the exact. It wasn't a great indicator problem. of the pitch the first game. Absolutely. I mean, last England, England would should be kicking themselves after the game one. They had uh, they had an abundant. I mean, they they were ahead in in the run rate throughout the game. They just lost the wickets. This time around, they, they were smart enough not to lose the wickets. So, they were able to complete it with, with I think, 40 balls left, you know. So, that was that was a kind of the... Yeah. Big, and with 40 balls left, I think they could have gone to 400 if they if they really wanted to, you know, if they were batting first. So, that's the thing. And also, I don't know when Virat will win a, win a toss, man. It's, it's, it's really making it... A very, I can't believe that he has such bad luck with the tosses. It's just, it's just, un- it's just crazy. I mean, you win one or two out of ten every now and again, right? It's, yeah, it's been to be honest, very, very uh, to be honest, I don't even. Uh, sometimes I'm missing the toss, and I just like update the page saying that yeah, um, yes, <laughs> England have won the toss <laughs> and elect to bowl. But um, yeah, I think um, uh, we'll see a different approach in the third game because now they'll definitely know that three twenty, three thirty won't be enough for this England team. Absolutely. But at the same time, you have to be very careful. You don't want to go too aggressive and lose too many wickets as well. So I think one guy needs to drop anchor like a Dhawan and Rohit goes I think they'll need to plan it out they have the talent so they'll need to sit down and plan it out carefully it's, again it's going to a decider it's been a really good limited over his leg um, the series the T20 going to the fifth game this going to the third game as well so it's going to be very exciting to see and um, apart from that uh, for India's bowling uh, your thoughts on um, first Kuldeep Yadav I mean like uh, he's I don't know since that World Cup it was the, against this team where they broke him it was uh, this pair I think Bresto and Roy they just were smashing him uh, in that game uh, and since then he's just looked all sorts and before that he was the most what do you call it like uh, deceiving bowler in the game like a proper wicket taker yeah I think it's a confidence thing with him you know like him, you, like you said he, they broke him a couple of years back 
and since then he's he's unfortunately been in and out of the side even when he was in the side he didn't get too much game time so it's it's been it's been unfortunate i think that uh, uh, poor 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 management of kuldeep i think has has also not helped i think that uh, india has done very well to manage their bowlers and batsmen but i think the fact that they've uh, neglected kuldeep a little bit has has really hurt him and i think that he's a confidence guy i mean like i always mention if if you if he keeps playing and if he's in the rhythm he's a very good bowler unfortunately he hasn't gotten that and i feel like you know these kind of these are the kind of decisions that you make and that that can really ruin careers and i feel like i i'm it's going to be very very hard for kuldeep to come back from this you know like if he doesn't get a good run in the ipl which you know last year you saw that kkr also wasn't picking him regularly it's going to be a little bit of a problem for him to come back from this he's going to have to work really hard and he's going to need to be mentally very strong it's unfortunate uh but yeah i think he's lost his mojo unfortunately he has to go back to the drawing board and try to figure it out uh but i think there's there's a long road ahead of him and i'm and very very unfortunate to see a very good bowler uh in the past that kind of uh, being broken down like this it's it's a little bit uh, sad to see that but i think i think he has the capability to come back i think if if he can if if if, if maybe ravi bhai can put a sh- uh, shoulder a hand around his shoulders just you know uh, pep him up a little bit maybe virat or rohit can also do that a little bit you know that will really help him get motivated to move move forward but i think that uh, it's it's going to be a straight swap i think chahal will come in for kuldeep i think next game yeah i think um, you know it's a mixture of both like uh, uh, people reading him now i think in the beginning no one could read him and he was uh, taking advantage of that getting wickets but also uh, it's a confidence thing like you said i think um, you know he's just like whenever he bowls he looks nervous he doesn't look uh, confident he's not uh, some of the deliveries don't look you know coming natural to him so i think he'll need to work on that and also something that like uh, even chahal has done you need to come up with more variations you have to adapt to the game i know it's easier said than done it's easy for us to say sure, that 100%. but yeah. in the international game, that's how it is you see anybody when strokes got hit for four sixes in the t20 world cup he came back he's a better bowler now so you will you need to learn from your mistakes you get hit you have to learn and i i think that that's halted that kind of learning i, I i'm not saying you stop learning but uh, i don't see as many variations you don't want to try too many things but you know what i mean the slight yeah, uh, such sure. variations he needs to uh, work on that for sure so uh, yeah i think that's uh, that's what uh, that wraps it up about kuldeep but uh, apart from that uh, prasad krishna is looking like a good uh, he's looking like a good prospect for india i'll be interested to see him uh, in the ipl and uh, yeah looking just looking forward to the third uh, one day international what are your thoughts for both teams i think now england will have a lot of confidence it's because of the manner in which they won and they had that start in that first one day as well so they'll have confidence from there as well so how are you looking at this third one day absolutely i mean i think i think uh, that england will be uh... will look to like you know they've lost the test series they lost the t20 series they look to want to uh, kind of sign off on a high i think that they'll 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 be they'll be strong and they'll be hard to beat i think india will have to up their game a little bit if they want to uh, if they want to if they want to beat this strong strong england side Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just to wrap up, I forgot to mention, uh, you know, Rohit ran Roy out. Roy, Roy finally got his fifty. He could have also scored a hundred. He got run out. But Stokes run out. Your thought on that? Was that out or not out? It was out. Of course, it was out. I I, I don't understand. The, the umpiring in this overall series has been so so. Especially poor. the third I mean, umpiring. <laughs> <laughs> you you have so much you have so much in front of you you have like you have the likes of different kinds of angles with the videos and stuff like that and you still that that i i still can't get over the fact that surya kumar yadav was was given out and that when 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 malan picked it up i just don't get it i i can't believe that that these kind of decisions are uh, they they take they take their they take their own sweet time first of all i just feel like you know you you it doesn't change a lot you have you have you should be given a, a certain amount of time you have to make a decision and come on i mean that was clearly out there's nothing inside i mean what is going on i i i just don't get it sometimes i just i i mean that could have changed the complexion of the game as well but, but that's yeah. that's that, that those are small things i don't think that maybe you know who who knows malan could have come and scored that kind of a sk- and innings and and things you know but then at that time to get strokes out would have been very important for india and i i just don't get it i i can't believe i mean nitin banan has been good but i think apart from that the others have have actually been a little bit poor uh i i, I they they really need to look i i can't understand if the players can be in bubbles why can't the umpires be in bubbles why can't you bring why can't icc just send them out and just be in bubble and just try a little bit harder you know i mean come on it's not that bad uh, but it is what it is i guess but they the umpiring has been very very poor i think that's the one big take from the series which has been an un, uh, which otherwise has been a very competitive series and a c- series of good good cricket but very poor umpiring yeah and you know surprisingly the on field has been much better than the off field and that's the shocking part when you have the technology and you're misusing and not misusing it but you're just not using it properly you yeah, know uh, yeah. i think uh, i completely agree with you there they'll need to work on that because uh, there's going to be more important games coming up in the future especially icc tournaments you'll have the t20 in india so 
we'll definitely need to get that together you know otherwise it's going to be yeah i know it's hard the bubble life is very hard it's 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 taking a toll on a lot of people but if you want to be competitive and if you want to make you if you want a good cricket you need good umpiring as well i think that's that's paramount important important yeah, for sure and uh, just to wrap up uh, your man of the match for today and your um, prediction for the last game I I I want to I mean you know Johnny scored more runs but I have to give it to Stokes because I think Stokes killed the game. I just felt like uh, for for me I think the way he the way he kind of annihilated the uh, especially Kronal and, and Kuldeep was was very important I think. I, I it's it's unfair not to give it to Johnny but I think uh, the impact I think of the innings I get yeah, to like yeah, the impact like yeah. even Bresto went wild in the first innings but then I mean the first game but then there's no one to finish it off and this finish it off exactly. Them. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, so. I mean, uh, I, I see where you're coming from, but I'm, you know, a Sunrisers fan, so I have to go back. Absolutely. To... <laughs> oh, I am too, but I, that's what I'm saying. It's unfair. It's unfair not to give it to Johnny. I, I'm a bit like... biased, so I'm going to give it to Johnny, but uh, <laughs> you're a fair man, neutral guy, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm neutral. I'm just being harsh on Johnny, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and you know, um, just lastly, I think these guys, uh, they're playing the IPL as well, and then, um, you know, there's going to be the World Cup here, so I think this is great practice for both teams, to be very honest with you, and... Uh, England are doing the most of getting used to the conditions. I think watch out for them in that T20 World Cup. But uh, um, absolutely, I think these are the top two sides uh, going at it, and and you know it's it, there's there's hardly anything to to kind of uh, 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 separate these two sides. They've just been very very good. Yeah, and lastly, your prediction: who's winning the toss? I said, oh, how is it going to toss? Toss, I think England will win. Two one to India. <laughs> sure, sure, India. Yeah. All right, I think uh, that wraps it up. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining me. It was a great discussion. Honestly, it was a great game to watch. Like it was unbelievable hitting us uh, from the likes of Stokes and Bersto. Great cricket. Even Rahul's century was very nice. Pant as well. Uh, hopefully, we see more of the same in the next one day. And I'll catch you after that. Thank you so much for joining me, man. Bhuvi Pfeiffer. to finish it off in the next game <laughs> that'll be great that'll be great you're preparing for the ipl i can see i can i can't wait <laughs> yeah. all right man thank you take care take care